In this problem, we want to divide using long division. So we got x minus 3. And now, if you look at what's on top, we got x to the fourth, x to the third, and 2. Um, it has to be in standard form for one thing, from largest power down to smallest, and this one, this one is. But uh, it's missing some powers. We're missing x squared and we're missing x. Well, you have to put zero placeholders for any missing powers. So when I set this up, I'll do x to the fourth minus x to the third. I'm missing the x squared, so I'll put zero x squared. I'm missing the x, so I'll put zero x. And then the no x, the plus two, goes at the end, constant term. <coughs> So again, it has to be in standard form, and you have to put zero placeholders for any missing powers. Now we look at the first term of each side to what to put up on top. You ask yourself what times x gives you x to the fourth, and that would be x to the third. Now whatever you put up on top, you multiply by what's out in front. So we'll take x to the third times x minus 3. x to the third times x is x to the fourth. x to the third times negative 3 is negative 3x three to the third. So we've got x to the fourth minus 3x to the third. We're subtracting that line, which means we'll flip the signs. So this one becomes negative, this one becomes positive. x to the fourth minus x to the fourth drops away. Negative x to the third plus 3x to the third gives us 2x to the third. And I'll bring down everything else, the 0x squared, the 0x, and the plus 2. <coughs> and we start over. We look at the first term of each side of what to put up on top. You ask yourself what times x gives you 2x to the third, and that'd be 2x squared. Now whatever we put up on top, we multiply by what's out in front. So I'll take 2x squared times x minus 3. 2x squared times x is 2x to the third. 2x squared times negative 3 is negative 6x squared. So we've got 2x to the third uh, minus 6x squared. We're subtracting that line, which means we'll flip signs. So this becomes negative, this one becomes positive. 2x to the third minus 2x to the third drops away. 0x squared plus 6x squared gives us 6x squared. The zero placeholders really don't do anything. They, they ensure that like terms are in the same column. So that's their only, only reason for being. And we start over. Look at the first term of each. You ask yourself what times x gives you 6x squared and that'd be 6x. Now whatever we put up on top we multiply by what's out in front so I'll take 6x times x minus 3. 6x times x is 6x squared. 6x times negative 3 is negative 18x. So I got 6x squared minus 18x. We're subtracting that line which means we'll flip the signs. So this becomes negative, this becomes positive. 6x squared minus 6x squared drops away. 0x plus 18x gives us 18x. And I'll bring down the plus 2. Now we only look at the first term of each side what to put up on top. You ask yourself what times x gives you 18x. And that's 18. Whatever you put up on top you multiply by what's out in front. So we'll take 18 times x minus 3. 18 times x is 18x. 18, 18 times negative 3 is negative, um, uh, what is it, 4 to 54? Yeah, negative 54. So we've got 18x minus 54. We're going to subtract that line, which means flip the signs. So this becomes negative, this becomes positive. 18x minus 18x drops away. 2 plus 54 gives us 56. And this, this is degree 0, and what we're dividing by is degree 1. When the degree of this becomes less than what we're dividing by, then that's our remainder. So our answer will be x to the third plus 2x squared plus 6x plus 18 plus, and then we'll take our remainder and put it over what we're dividing by. So 56 over x minus 3. And that's our answer.